Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Pokepans and welcome to episode 2 of our Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you missed episode 1 and are jumping straight into episode 2, what are you doing? Go back and catch up. I've left a link to the first episode down in the description and up in the top right hand corner before we get into the team recap. So you guys can go and do that and avoid some spoilers right now. But for those of you who have caught up, let's jump into the team recap before we get into this episode anymore. So we we have Klefki, the, uh, sorry, Keyring, the Klefki, with Quick Attack, Meditate, Fairy Wind, and Lovely Kiss with the Poison Heal ability. We have ooh, Zappa, the Jolteon, with a Thundershock, Pursuit, and it learned Charge Beam while we were leveling it up, which was pretty awesome, with the Refrigerate ability, which is very, very nice. We have Phoenix, the Fletchling, with Quick Attack, Curse, Clear Smog, and Acrobatic, so it learned a stab move leveling up, which was really cool. Uh, and it's got the Solid Rock ability, which is very, very nice. Reduces damage from super effective attacks, which is really good because it's four times weak to rock. And finally, we have Spooky the Haunter. Uh, with Lick, Coil, and Focus Energy with the Defiant ability. So the moveset, not that great yet. But uh, the Pokemon itself is very, very nice. And uh, our team is looking very, very well-rounded right now. As you may have been able to tell, we leveled up a few Pokemon off-camera. Um, so everybody was level 10, but before we get too far, we got a gym battle right now, so let me just quickly heal up our Pokemon, and we can check out the Mart. We're going to need to stock up on some potions and stuff um, before we jump into the gym battle, but we have randomized all the, like, X item shops and all the special Marts, so one of these guys should have some random items, so let's have a look at this guy, see what he's got. Okay, here we go. This is the random item shop, so we've got a Pearl String, uh, which we don't want. We have a Gyaradosite, which is free, so we'll buy one of those bad boys. Uh, it sells Premier Balls, uh, which are just Pokeballs, so they're the same price. It's got the Grizzius Orb. That is pretty damn cool. So if we get a Giratina, we can come back to this shop and we can change its form uh, with this. Uh, Boost Mulch does nothing. Uh, I Papa Berry also does nothing. Burn Drive, which changes Genesect's uh, ability. Uh, changes Genesect's um, special move thing, and the Genius Wing, which is like a protein carbos, but for special attack thing. Alright, okay, some cool items in there. We've got a Gyarados site, so if we get a Magikarp, we'll have a Mega Gyarados at some point. Um, which is very nice. I love how the Magic... Uh, the... Magic? I love how the uh, Mega Stones are all, uh, all free. Um, Alright, so we've got the first Gym Battle right now. Uh, we're going to have to buy some potions. Let's take this up to... Let's get 10 potions. That should be plenty. And we'll get we'll get a few Pokeballs as well. You know what? We won't buy any more Pokeballs. We won't, because we're gonna we wanna buy Pokeballs in stacks of 10, right? So we can get that extra free Premier Ball. But right now we are gonna run and take on this gym. I believe there's a person standing outside the gym that we have to take on first. Yeah, who gives you like roller skates? Yeah, here we go. So we've got to beat this person uh, before we can take on the gym. So we're definitely going to do that. Here we go. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, please be sure to leave a like down below. You guys absolutely smashed the like goal for that first episode. Um, I aimed for 15 so we could start our live series on Saturday. And you guys smashed it. It's currently sitting on like 21 likes or something, which is absolutely insane. I put a really, uh, what I thought was a really um uh unreachable goal i was being super optimistic with that goal and uh, you guys absolutely destroyed it i didn't think i was gonna have to stream on the saturday but you guys smashed it and uh what can i say oh shadow ball what can i say i can just say thank you very much for the support guys it's super appreciated i genuinely couldn't believe when we hit 20 likes that was absolutely nuts but yeah we are now streaming every saturday at uh, 3 p.m uk time so if you want to come along, we are doing a Pokemon X Luck Lock. Now I will be... God damn it, Fairy Wind, can you hit please? I will be um, leaving the VODs up. So if you missed episode 1, you can go back to watch the uh, first episode of the Luck Lock before we do the next stream on Saturday. So the current schedule for uploads is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing the Pokemon X Randomizer Nuzlocke. And on Saturdays, we're going to be streaming the Pokemon Moon Luck Lock. Struggle Bug. Yeah, okay, we'll learn Struggle Bug. That's a pretty decent move, I believe. 50 power, 100 accuracy, lowest special attack. Uh, yeah, better than Meditate. 
All right, so that's that. We get the roller skates now, which let us move a little bit quicker, which is very nice. I do love how bulky Klefki is, man. Klefki is super tanky. The steel typing and the fairy typing really help it out. Spiffy pair of roller skates. Awesome. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Right. Now what we're going to go do is um, go heal up and then we'll come back to the gym. I believe there's only one mandatory trainer in this gym. Um, but we might take on the first couple just to... Uh, oops, going the wrong way. Just to double check the levels and stuff. Because I, I think they're all going to be like a level 10, 11, 12-ish. So we should be fine because our entire team is level 10. We have four Pokemon. We are doing pretty damn good right now. We've got some good type coverage on our team. And uh, I'm looking forward to this gym battle and getting our first gym because that's going to be super fun. No, don't don't heal up again. Come on, behave. Okay, now let's go to the gym. I believe this is usually the bug gym. Yeah, the badge is the bug, the bug badge or something, so... Yep, Sal Talu Santa Loon City Gym. Very nice. Yeah, look at all those bugs on the floor. It's definitely the bug gym. Right, do you give us a fresh water or something? Maybe not. Supposed to tell you something. Everybody in this gym uses bug Pokemon. Oh, god damn it. Okay, he doesn't give us fresh water in this game. That's interesting. I thought uh, I thought he did. And now we've got to go through the whole conversation again. Because I accidentally tapped A one, more, one time too many. All right. Let's go down and, um, uh, yeah. Okay, so we are going to battle this first uh, trainer that, that we come across. Um, so, oops, there shouldn't be... If you follow the droplets, there's, like, no battles apart from the last one. But we're going to battle this guy here um, because we do want to make sure that we're at the right level. So, uh, hopefully we don't come across someone who we can't beat. Like a, an optional trainer that we don't have the uh, tools to beat, but it's fine. We've got a Trubbish here. Um, so Keyring should actually be okay here, because uh, usually it'd be like, oh no, it's a Poison type against our Fairy type. But our Fairy type is also Steel type. And even if it's got Corrosion, um, which I don't think it can, because someone did point out that that's a Gen 7 uh, ability. Um, even if it somehow has, has Corrosion, uh, we've got Poison Heal. So... That was a crit. Wild charge. Okay, that didn't do anything. Good. All right, we can just take this guy out with some quick attacks. Uh, it might take a few hits, but... And then we can go heal up. Was that a crit? No. I don't know how much a crit would do against this guy. I don't think Trubbish's attack is particularly high. Obviously, uh, we're bulky as anything. Oh, it's got a berry. That's kind of annoying. Is that another... Salak Berry raised its speed. It doesn't matter. We're using Quick Attack. So this next Quick Attack should take it out. And there we go. So that was a level 10 trainer with one Pokemon. So we should be okay here. I believe the gym leader has like two or three Pokemon. Lovely. Lovely. I believe we get the XP share pretty soon too. Are you going to... Oh, you're going to give us an item? Okay, cool. Give us a Rindo Berry. Lovely. Um, what is going on here? Why is this taking so long? Oh, the game really doesn't like, apparently, giving random... Oh, he's giving us another berry. Okay, there we go. All right, let's... Um, How do we get out of here? Oh, can you not get out? I thought you could go out. Apparently not. Apparently you can't get out. I definitely thought you could leave. In which case we'll just heal up and we'll uh, go to the next person. Oh, exactly 20 points. That was perfect. That was perfect. Let's just go straight to the next trainer, I guess. I, th I almost I was almost certain you could leave and heal up before the uh, before the next trainer, but apparently not. All right, here we go. Waitress Charlotte sent out Aromatisse, fairy type. Okay, so poison and steel is good against it. We do have a steel type, but no steel moves unfortunately yet. So we're going to do our best here. We will lovely kiss it, I think, and it missed, of course. 
flare blitz. Oh, that's not good. Let's let's switch out here. Um, to to who do we switch out to to take a flare blitz? Phoenix maybe. What moves does Phoenix have again? It's got acrobatics, so that should be good. All right, we'll switch into Phoenix. It's only level seven. Um, but we don't really want uh, Klefki to be taking too much damage here, and uh, I think Phoenix should be able to tank a Flare Blitz pretty nicely. Maybe not. Took 11 HP. Uh, we'll do an Acrobatics here. We should be faster than that. Acrobatics is like powered up because we're not holding any moves either, so... Does some decent damage. Oh, it's got Moonlight to heal up. Okay. Flare Blitz and Moonlight. That's pretty nice for it. We'll just keep going for Acrobatics. Got baby doll eyes. What does that do? Attack. Dropped our attack? How dare it. Okay, we'll go for another acrobatics. And then I guess uh, we just keep going for acrobatics? I don't know. I hate I hate it when they start lowering our attack like that. One more acrobatics should take it out unless it moonlights. No. Okay, cool. Was that a speed tie then? Or is it got a negative priority move? I'm not sure. Weird. Alright, got some nice XP there on Phoenix, which is very nice. There we go, lovely, lovely. Keyring also grew up a level, level 13 now for Keyring, that is very nice. Sent out Liligant. Okay, I mean, I guess we just acrobatics again. Uh, I mean, our Egg Bomb, nice, okay. That's uh, not a great move. Okay, so we two-shot this even with two attack drops, um, so that's fine. Ah, oh, of course it's got Synthesis. Now, we don't have any PP restores, so we do have to be a little bit careful here. So maybe we should curse up. To try and... Uh, we'll just you'll just use another acrobatics. Hopefully it doesn't use synthesis again. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to curse up, I think. I think we're going to have to curse up. Because it's already faster than us, right? Yeah, so let's just curse get our attack back up to usable levels before we continue on with the battle. I do love Curse, man. That's one of my favorite moves. Curse Snorlax is absolutely amazing. Let's use Curse again, I suppose. Egg Bomb is physical, so we should be good there. I am going to heal up here. Um... Because we don't want to... Oh, we can give Orenberry to someone as well before the uh, before the gym leader fight. Because we don't want to we don't want to risk this, guys. We don't want to risk it. We want to be we want to be good. Yeah. Egg bomb has got low accuracy, and it's not that powerful. And we do have here we go two defense boosts. Look at that. But we don't want to get crit because the crit will bypass those defense boosts. Nice. And we one shot it with a crit. Very very nice. Phoenix gained a bunch of levels, now up to level 12. I Does this evolve at level 16 or something, maybe? Trick Room. Ooh. Trick Room and Curse would be really good, but no. Oh, look at that, man. Two levels from that battle. Hell yeah. Phoenix grew up at level 13 now? That is sweet. My web wasn't strong enough. No, it was not, Charlotte. No, it was not. All right, so let's uh, give that Orenberry to someone. Let's heal up people. You can heal up. And I suppose we might as well heal Phoenix up as well. We have enough potions. And let's give an Orenberry to... I guess Keyring. Keyring is like the tankiest Pokemon we have. So I feel like the extra HP would be useful on Keyring more than anybody else. And here we go. Gym Leader time. First Gym Leader of this series, guys. Hopefully you are hyped for this. I am pretty damn hyped for this. Getting this, uh, getting this series off underway with episode 2 with our first gym badge. And obviously we're going to get a TM for this as well. So let's hope we get a good TM from this. And let's hope she doesn't have any legendaries. Alright, how many trainer, how many Pokemon does she have? Leader Viola, she's got Krikatoon. Okay, Bug type. Doesn't actually tell us how many Pokemon she's got. Two Pokemon, okay. This is actually a Bug type. It's not a Pokemon that she usually has, but... Um, I guess we can Fairy Wind. I don't think Bug resists Fairy. Using foul play, dark move, that is not very effective. Got a crit though. Alright, we'll do Fairy Wind again. I'm guessing she has some healing items, so I think Krikatoon 
would probably be a good Pokemon for her to use her healing items on for us. Because it's not that strong. If Foul Play is the best move it's got against us, we're safe here. Yeah, so it's going to use a potion. Good. Because if she's got like a super strong second Pokemon, then we definitely want to use her potion on uh, on the Krikatoon rather than her second Pokemon. And there we go. Krikatoon is down. Pokemon 1 out of Pokemon, out of 2 Pokemon. Down for the gym leader. Let's have a look. What is the next Pokemon? Keyring gained a bunch of XP from that. Very nice. Gudra. See, this is what I'm talking about with the strong Pokemon. We luckily have a fairy type with a fairy move, so this should do some... Oh, damn, that's not good damage at all. Okay, so let's hope Gudra has nothing to hit us with. Um, obviously, the dragon, if it has dragon moves, we don't have to worry about it. Oh, it's got Drill Run. That's a ground move. Holy shit, that was strong. So we could now go into... Um, assuming he's going to go for Drill Run again, we're going to move into Phoenix here. Because Drill Run is a ground move. And uh, we don't want to be taking that with anyone from a Gudra. So we'll go into Phoenix. Doesn't affect us. Good, good, good. That's what I like to see. Now we can Acrobatics the Gudra. It's got Spatial Rend. Oh, that's going to take us out. Fuck. Ah, Fletchling is down. What do we do here? I think what we have to do is, is, ah, oh, damn, we lost the first Pokemon on the first gym. Um, Alright, I think what we have to do is use a potion on Keyring with Zappa and then switch in. Assuming it's going to go for Spatial Rend. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's fine. Use the String Shot because now we can switch into Keyring. Assuming it goes for Spatial Rend and we tank it. It went for a Drill Run on the switch. How much was Drill Run doing? Did that just do 20 damage? We have nothing to switch into a Drill Run. Oh man, it's doing more than 20 damage too. Oh man, this is bad. What's Drill Run's PP? I'm going to have to look up Drill Run's PP while we're recording here. Because... Uh, we're gonna have to just keep healing up. There's nothing we can do. All of our Pokemon are weak to ground, apart from Phoenix, who died to one Spatial Rend. Has 10 PP. We can maybe stall it out. It's 95% accurate, so it could miss, too. This is our only hope. We just have to hope that it runs out of PP soon. Okay, that's a string shot. Maybe she's run out of PP already. I haven't been counting. Ah, oh, damn, I'm so sad that we lost Fletchling, guys. Phoenix would have been so good. Okay, it's still got Drill Run. Okay, that's kind of annoying. But we get another Fairy Wind off on it. But we still got to use another potion. It must be running low on PP now though, surely. Another Drill Run. It's doing between 20 and 22 damage per, per turn. So a potion will make, like, I don't think it's got four more, right? So it shouldn't take us out. Oh, we got a crit! Oh, Klefki, no! How has it not missed a single one? Zapper, it's down to you, buddy.
Oh, that does fucking nothing. We've got to hope for the paralysis, man. We've got to hope for the paralysis on the Gudra with the Thunder Shark. Is this Gudra going to take us out? Don't, don't do this to us, Gudra, please. No! He got a crit with the spatial rend! It's down to Spooky. Who just has Lick. Guys, this might be the end in episode two. If Spatial Rend takes us out here, we're, we're done. That's the game. That's it. Nuzlocke over. It crit us twice to take two of our four Pokemon out. Guys. Guys, we lost. I guess that's it for today's episode. Um... I am going to re-randomize the ROM. We're going to start again. Take two. Um, because we are literally two episodes in. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to start again. We're going we're gonna to re-randomize the ROMs. Um, re-randomize everything. We're going to start again on Wednesday. Episode one. Take two. Uh... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. Um, if you did, please leave a like. Let me know if we could have done anything differently in uh, in that fight. Maybe we should have switched into like Haunter to tank a drill run to maybe stall the PP out because Klefki could have taken out the the Gudra. Oh, I'm so sad. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. We'll be back on Wednesday with another randomized file and we're starting again. Until next time, guys, goodbye.